You know there was a fire in Ammonford on Tuesday, right? Well, this might sound weird, but how do you know? How do you know that there was a fire on Tuesday? I reckon there's a couple of answers to that question. Perhaps you saw the flames and you literally saw and observed the fire as it was taking place. Maybe, like me, uh, what you saw was the smoke and so you speculated there's no smoke without fire. So you saw the smoke and you reasoned, if you like, that that must mean that there was a fire somewhere. Or maybe you're someone who just heard about it. Someone else told you about it. Someone else revealed that truth to you. Uh, you read it on the South Wales Guardian website or something like that. You just heard about it and that's how you know that there was a fire in Amford on Tuesday. Now this last week in Amford Church, we started a new series exploring who God has revealed himself to be. And we thought a little bit about knowledge and how we know things as human beings. The same three ways that people know that there was a fire in Amford on Tuesday are the same three ways that we know anything in the world. We can observe things, we can speculate about things, or we can have things revealed to us. One of the things we're not very good at is seeing all these ways of knowing as being equally valid. When Christians speak about knowing God because he has spoken to us, revealed himself through the Bible, that doesn't mean we ignore the world around us and we throw our faculties, our reason, our logic out the window. Actually, if what God has said about himself in the Bible is true, then it should make sense to us and it should fit with what we see in the world around us. So let me just invite you to investigate God for yourself, uh, to think about how you can know who he is, what he's like, to know him for yourself. Um, open up the Bible, have a look what he's got to say, or better still, join us on Sunday.